The other point uh, I wanted you to talk about is that how institutionalized the, the fraudulent, the creation of fraudulent drugs and data was in uh, Ranbaxy because uh, not only was all this being institutionalized to employees, like they were trained on how to adulterate drugs, trained on how to fudge the data, and also senior executives who were traveling around the world were asked to smuggle drugs so that they could um, fake them, put them in their own packaging and show them to the FDA. And uh, it was common knowledge that uh, you had to fill your suitcase up with, with the drugs and travel with it. And uh, one executive uh, emailed uh, Melvinder and said that he would not, Mil Melvinder Singh was getting upset that there were so many drugs lying there and why wasn't any executive willing to bring it? And this was explained to Malvinder by various people that one, it's illegal. Mm -hmm. Two, if you're arrested, you know, you can go to jail. And they even had a plan which when you were smuggling the drugs that they were given a document, documentation to how to get out of uh, trouble if they were caught, that they could, they had an explanation for it. And in fact, there was only, I think, one executive that you wrote about who told Malvinder off and said, if you're in London, why don't you carry them yourself? And you refuse to carry them. Now, have you seen that kind of uh, planned, institutionalized corruption in any of your research anywhere? I have never seen that. And in fact, I think it's- Surely in China, you might have found something worse? Please? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, by, I will say by the data, China is actually, I did a follow-up article in which the data shows that China may actually be worse. Um, I mean, it's a race to the bottom, but China appears to be worse. Um, but, you know, the, the suitcase drugs, that's what they were called, the suitcase drugs, was a whole system worldwide where just when they were due to submit data to the FDA showing how great their drugs were, then they had to bring, have executives from other parts of the world. Um, they would order these suitcases from Walmart. They'd pack them up. They'd smuggle them in, say that they were for personal use. Uh, I had a big article which mentioned the suitcase drugs that first came out in 2013. I got an email from a pharmacist in Australia who said to me, hey, there was this Rambaxi executive who kept in coming into my pharmacy to get drugs, and I never knew like what they were for, and now I realize that they were the suitcase drugs that they were smuggling in. So they were even smuggling them in from Australia as well. 